you made mention na uh, attorney Bernabe uh, that uh, you have the right to notify uh, ABS-CBN on the transaction. Am I right? Um, no, may I clarify? Uh, what I stated earlier is that uh, two things. ABS-CBN does not need to notify us as a matter of obligation, but two, they can voluntarily notify us of their transaction. Now, if they don't voluntarily notify us, we can nonetheless, in the commission, exercise our motu proprio review powers of their transaction. Okay, therefore, you can officially notify, am I right? Uh, we can officially review the transaction, Your Honor, to be precise about it. Okay, but you're also aware, uh, you, you, you made mention a moment ago by uh, when uh, uh, Congressman Mogleta was interpolating you on... Uh, the uh, provision of the Bayani Hand 2, am I right? Yes, Your Honor. Where it says that uh, the issuance of a directive that all government agencies and LGU shall act on all pending and new applications for permit, license, certificate, clearances, authorization, and solution without a non extendable period of seven working days in order to support business continuity and encourage assumption of all economic activities, provided that the applicant shall be allowed to undertake its compliance to any additional requirement that may be imposed by the government agency or LGU and such will not delay the approval of the application, provided further that this shall not apply to regulatory processes involving administrative investigations, or enforcement activities by government regulators exercising quasi-judicial functions, provided finally that the Philippine Competition Commission shall promote business continuity and capacity building as such, all mergers and acquisitions with transaction values below 50 billion pesos shall be exempt from compulsory notification under under Section 17 of the Public Act Number 10667 of the Philippine Competition Act, if entered into within a period of two years from the effectivity of this act, and further, shall be exempt the pieces power to review mergers and acquisitions, motto proprio, provided in Section 12 of the Public Act Number 10667 for a period of one year from the effectivity of this act. It means that uh, if it is under 50 billion pesos, uh, Attorney Bernabe, that you are actually uh, asked by this provision and uh, uh, that you cannot in any way review mergers and acquisitions. Am I right? Uh, Section 4 triple E of Bayanihan 2, which you have read out, uh, Your Honor, uh, states that parties to a transaction whose value is less than 50 billion do not need to compulsorily notify the yes. commission. Yes. However, after the lapse of one year from the passage of Bayanihan 2, which was September 2021, we can begin to exercise our power to review on a motto proprio basis transactions even if they fall below 50 billion pesos. Also, oh, no, therefore, now you could be able to review. Am I right? That is correct, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, well, uh, what I'm thinking is, do you, do you believe that uh, uh, the ABS-CBN and, and, and TV5 uh, uh, have actually violated any law on this transaction? In so far as the Competition Act, which is the sole uh, purview, uh, which is the sole parameter by which we can decide, judge whether there's a violation, we cannot at this point categorically state that there's any violation. It will have to be after we conduct an economic analysis within the legal framework of the PCA. And that's the only time that we can say if there's any uh, effect on competition which violates the law. Okay. Uh, well, in, in your opinion, 
if it's not that uh, uh, the joint venture, as they say, between TB5 and ABS-CBN, uh, ito ay malinaw na shares purchase agreement lamang ito. Uh, it, well, it is an investment agreement. I am not sure if we can classify it as a joint venture under the rules of the PCA uh, and the rules that we have promulgated as the commission. Uh, it is a, from our perspective, an acquisition. Well, and, and, and actually, uh, that would not even be uh, in competition with Channel 7 because right now, GMA 7 is uh, uh, no competition sa kanila. Am I right? Um, to clarify, Your Honor, that is what I referred to earlier, that yes. uh, perhaps with the investment agreement between ABS and TV5, TV5 will be strengthened to be able to compete more effectively with GMA7. Uh, that is something that will be examined by our uh, mergers and acquisition office if we review the transaction. But at this point in time, there is not actually any competition, am I right? Um, there is competition, but the uh, there is a dominant incumbent in GMA7, and the balance of 40% uh, is spread out among several competitors. So uh, one might say that you need stronger viable competitors uh, to, to be able to say that there is a strong competition in the market. 